Okay, let's talk about our experience now. <laughs> right, under the section 27, capital B. All right. Now, we received an email in June for our client 2022. Uh, it's actually quite recent. So, the email read like this. Salam sejahtera. Okay. You, you, you can read the subject matter, right? The subject matter say, Notice pemberitahun kehadiran pemeriksaan fizikal. Uh, ke whatever the company. Uh. Okay. Salam sejahtera. Tuan, tuan, tampan. Tuan, tampan. Tuan atau puan. Perkara di atas adalah dirujuk. Okay. Ad, uh, adalah dimaklumkan pegawai dari SSM akan menjalankan pemeriksaan fizikal berjadual ke atas the company. Okay, number two. Pemeriksaan fizikal akan dijalankan pada whatever the date lah. Sehubungan dengan itu, tuan-tuan dan puan-puan, uh, tuan-tuan uh, atau puan dikehendaki mengemukakan alamat ke atas rekod per akaunan. Okay, rekod per akaunan dan rekod lain disimpan melalui email ke the lembaga hasil email address and attention to the SS, sorry not lembaga hasil uh, SSM uh, email and the PIC email uh, and the PIC person's name. Okay, tuan atau puan juga diberi per, uh, peringatan untuk memaklumkan kepada pengarah syarikat supaya bersedia dengan rekod-rekod perakaunan dan dokumen-dokumen sokongan seperti berikut. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what is the SSM looking for in this particular email? Okay, this is what they want. They ask for seven years. Huh? Just like a, it's just like lembaga hasil audit, huh? to be honest. Honestly, it feels like a lembaga hasil audit. Okay, so it asks for trial balance, profit and loss balance sheet. It also lasts, asks for GL, asks for your cash book and all your sales ledger, buy ledger, bank ledger and payment ledger and ask for all source document for the year. I do not sanitize this for you. It's, I wanted to show you the meaning of seven years. Right? Now, this particular case, the interesting part is the company was registered in 2014. So the first per account is actually 2015. Lah. So basically, yeah, they ask for the company information since it's incorporation. Okay. Now we are in the year 2022. Do we count 2022 as year number one? If you look into this, right, the answer is no. Right. The last submission of the account was 2021. Right. So they basically ask 2021 and backwards seven years. So they, they are like going to audit the financial report of the company. That was what we received. Huh? So obviously, first time receiving this, quickly, 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 have to talk to the client, da, 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 you know, everything else. Lah. Wow, very kanjong already. Wow. So get everything ready. Okay. Then the SSM actually pay a visit. Okay. Now, after that, Okay, now this date is actually okay. Uh, Cyrus, uh, sorry, something I believe this one is not June already, right? This one is September. Right, uh, something, do you mind to unmute yourself? Um, right. yes, it is uh, September. Yeah, sorry, uh, we have to do the changes. Uh. So then, after they did the email sending in June. The physical audit by SSM on the financial position of our client was arranged actually. They came, they did, they, 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 they go through. Now, their response time very fast. Oh. Lembaga Hasil may not respond as fast to be very honest with you. So in September, right, they came with a written letter. Okay, this is the written letter that we received. Okay, what did he say? We translate into English for you. Huh? Okay, so now, with the authority provided under section 27 capital B, uh, sub 2B, okay, together with sub 1, okay, E and O and sub 1 of the Malaysian uh, uh, Company Commission's Amendment Act, you are required to provide me with the information in writing 
as stated in Appendix 1. Okay, this is the translation that we have. Lah. And then in this letter, lah, in this Bahasa letter, there is another para that says which we enlarge for you. It say, please note that if you fail to comply with the registrar order under this section, you will be committed an offence under sub 4, right? Of the same act, which is 500,000, an imprisonment of three years or both. Okay, so did you see how serious is the officer? <laughs> yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, just to ensure everyone is actually listening up, uh, right? Um, uh, where by looking at this, does it give you like, wow, they are really here? If you really feel that, uh, if you have that feeling, uh, can you in the chat room give me a 111 uh, so that I know you are listening? <laughs> so that I know you are listening, yeah? Uh, yeah, that wow, they are really, really doing the, the particular audit. Huh? Okay, let me just see. Uh. Okay, good, good, good. Glad that uh, everyone is actually, uh, you know, like listening up. Uh. Okay, so it was a black and white letter. And then after that, they gave us what all the questions they want the client to reply in writing. Uh. Number one. Okay, let me just close my screen here a little bit. Uh. So number one, it says here, okay, hold on, uh, my two bars is disturbing me. Okay, dear sir, madam, you are required to provide explanation, okay, uh, explanation and explanation in writing regarding the information required for company ABC as below. The three questions, uh, the first three questions, I will give you translation of all the questions here. The three questions, the first three questions, the first one, what are the company activity, the business activity carried out by the company? So looks like they are checking on your MSIC code also. Okay. So the client obviously will have to answer this question. Number two, where are the company's accounting record kept? Please include complete address. Now, our accounting records honestly can be kept at different places. Huh? After all, it's seven years, isn't it? Right, uh, I can keep my accounting record maybe at a storage warehouse, correct? I, and then some of the current year, I kept it in my office. I may actually have that. So I have to provide the information. Number three, who are responsible for recording all the company's accounting transactions? Now, this question to us uh, is important, ladies and gentlemen, because... Do you know what is session number, uh, question number four? The question number four, uh, you see here, question num number four here. Uh, if I may just pick up my beamer, uh, hold on. Uh. Question number four, uh, okay. Question number four, asking for who provides account, uh, company account. Please uh, provide the personal information of the responsible accountant. If it's an employee, tick here. If it's an outsource, tick here. And then they ask for the employee name, her IC. If it is an outsource firm, they ask for that employee name, her IC, and the company names and the company number of that outsource company. The information had to be filled in. And then how long was the period covered? If it's by contract or by working? We all know sometimes our staff does actually go, go, you know, like resign. So seven years, uh, Seven years of result, right? you've probably gone to maybe two accountants or three accountants. I don't know. All right. So you have to provide the lease, you know, year 21.5. Okay. Year 21.6. Okay. Who? You know, and what is the position that the person is holding? What happens if you are an accounting department? Okay. One person take care of uh, AP. Another person take care of AR. Another person take care of full set. Well, there is a lot of information you have to provide here, you know, ladies and gentlemen, right? The, the SSM is asking for this question. They're asking for this information. They wanted to know who is doing this set of account. Okay, number four. Then let's go on to number five and onwards. Huh? Number five to number eight, I put it into one slide. Number five, name the accounting standard adopted by the company. Okay, number six, how are transactions being recorded and what software does the company use? So if 2015, I'm actually using uh, UBS. At the, uh, after that, I changed to uh, AutoCal, right? 
So, you know, you actually have to mention uh, where are the records and what software are you actually using, okay? Number seven, please state the status of the accounts audited report since its incorporation. Status of the company's audited report, maybe uh, you have labs, maybe your opinion is not the same. Yeah, you may have qualified opinion, you have unqualified opinion, you have clean audit, you have not so clean audit on some years. Number eight, please state the name of the company auditor who has audited your company financial statement. If you change your auditor, obviously you will actually have to come up with a written reply to them on this question eh, to say, okay, year one, who? Year two, year three, year four, right? You actually have to let them know the auditor whom you use. Okay? Now, not finished yet. Number nine, where are the original document for each accounting transaction kept? So just now they ask for documents, right? It can be, you know, a lot of people say now cloud, whatever, whatever. Question number nine, where is your original document? Where is your source document? So it looks like, right, SSM when come to keeping of records, uh, they do want to know whether your original or your physical document are still with you and where does it actually kept. Okay, number 10, please provide. Okay, in this particular case, uh, just now is the 2015 to whatever, right? They asked for specifically, I want to know. Uh, I still wanted to, I have picked up, I have gone through your information before. Now I want you to send me another copy, 2017-1718-19-2020. Okay, four years. I want to look into this four years. From uh, balance sheet, PL plus GL. Ladies and gentlemen, bearing in mind, they already come for visit in June. This is in September. They are still looking for additional information. Okay, now, number 11 is an important part. It's an important part. For this particular case, uh, for this particular case, it was a qualified opinion. It was a qualified opinion. So, on the director's report, right? Director say, oh, where do I sign? You sign off. Oh, I am true and fair. Okay, and then the statutory declaration there says the account is correct, but the audit opinion say I cannot form an opinion or I don't think the account is true and fair. Okay, so question number 11, SSM asks, please provide an explanation regarding the issue raised by the auditor of ABC for the financial year, that particular year, because seven years, ma. Not everything is uh, uh, qualified, right? So, so maybe one or two years. Okay. So this year, which is stated in what page to what page? They wanted to, they wanted the director to give a written explanation on the issue. Yeah. That are uh, on the issues that's raised by the auditor, right? So straight away, we realize that, we realize that. Uh, SSM, we can no longer, we can no longer treat them like as a library. We can no longer treat them as a lodging center or a lodging station. We can no longer because they do actually have a power to really check on you, right? Under the Company Act, right? You have a record keeping rules that you need to follow. You have sections to tell you how timely your financials are supposed to be have entered into and you need to ensure the quality of these transactions being done. Okay? Now, and they have the power under the SSM uh, own act, they have the power to request for information even though in their laws, right, they never mention that they ask for financial information. Huh? But from this particular case, you realize that they zoom straight into the financial information. Okay, and as an as a company secretary, right, we need to tell the SSM, uh, uh, we, we will always say uh, the, 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 the opinion uh, that is of this audited account is what. Uh. So, so now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we see that the SSM is taking action to ensure better compliance, right? So it's so important for us to re-look really into all this importance of the account. Now, do you know the transactions that they asked for, they have appendix some more. I wanted to know more about you. Okay, so 
they asked for further information in their written in September 2022. Uh, it's not letter dated June. Uh, sorry, uh, my colleague made a mistake here. It's actually September. The email is June. They went already. They did the audit already. They did a review already. Okay. In September, they give a return and they still ask for item. Okay. You will realize, ladies and gentlemen, you will realize the transactions that they ask for, okay, doesn't necessarily be big transactions. Right? They ask for source document. Uh. They ask for source document relating to small transactions as well. As small as 606 ringgit or uh. 606 ringgit and 44 cents. Uh. So your record keeping uh, honestly have to be tip top, you know. In the letter that they gave to us in September, to our client in September, they asked for supporting document for this, these transactions. This whether it's debit or a credit, okay, they list them down. They tell us, they let you know what are your GL code that you are actually keying in. Then they give you the name. Okay. Then they say, okay, I wanted to see the vouchers. I want to see the source document of this item. Right? They are a lot more detailed than Lembaga Hasil. Okay. And what are the description? Yeah. What are the descriptions that they're asking for? I sanitize some lah, okay. You see, you will realize that it's very normal cost or transaction only. Five training courses fee la, uh, whatever your service fee la, traveling expenses la, your gift and donation la, your director so-so. Did you see that? Director so-so, uh, advertising, right? So the transaction deal details requested by SSF may come from all types of expenses, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, it's all type, which include but not limited to normal advertising costs, uh, not limited to accommodation, traveling, gift, and etc. and etc. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, they really, when they are having an inquiry mind, right, they really zoom in. They really zoom into transactions like this, right? So, by looking at this transaction, I think you will realize this. It's just one of the normal company that we have, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Right? It's just one of the normal company that we have. The auditor was not able to actually form an opinion due to the weaknesses of the documentations, right? And they did a qualified opinion to the matter. Now, of course, at this juncture, I am not able to comment. Does it mean if the audit is a clean audit, Okay, the audit is a clean audit. Does it mean you will not be picked by SSM under Section 27 Capital B of their SSM Act? Okay, I won't be able to answer this particular question simply because, uh, number one, we don't have enough cases to form that particular opinion. But generally, if you look at Section 27 Capital B, you will realize that the Indian uh, so the, the SSM never mentioned, uh, they never mentioned uh, the basis of requesting for information. They just say they have the power, um, yeah, they have the power uh, uh, under this particular sections whereby uh, they have reasonable ground to believe that person uh, can provide information, they will ask for it already. Okay, they can ask for it already. Okay, so let's continue. Huh? Okay. Now, 